art friends, today we are going to draw a kakapo. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along what is a kakapo. I think that's how you say it, pronounce it. It's a flightless bird, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a parrot that looks like an owl, and they're uh, native to New Zealand. And we've never seen these before, but it was a request, and we looked it up, and we thought it would be a lot of fun to draw one. If you've never seen one before or never heard of a kakapo, I really hope that's how you pronounce it, you got to check it out. So be sure to ask a parent or an adult to search one up and check out some videos on them walking across the forest floor. It's really cute. <laughs> you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and... Something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're going to draw a cartoon version of a kakapo. We're going to start by drawing the beak. And let's draw the letter V, but it's kind of a curved letter V. So we're going to come down like this. And then at the bottom, we'll leave a little point, And then we'll come back up on the other side. Yeah, and you could actually make it a little taller. They kind of have long, longer beaks. And they're also kind of thick. Yeah, and then let's draw the nostrils. We'll draw two bumps on top to connect the top of the beak. And then we could also draw the little nostrils, little ovals inside of the beak. Now let's draw the eyes, and we're going to draw a circle over here on the left, and we'll draw that same circle, same size circle, on the right. Now let's draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye, and this is the highlight to make the eyes look shiny and also cute. And then we're going to color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw the top of our bird's head. We're going to start here, and we're going to draw a upside down U shape that comes over and back down on the other side. And then we can draw the little cheeks. We're going to draw a line that comes down like this, and then we're going to curve in like we're going to connect to the beak. And we can repeat that same shape over here on the right side. Next, let's also add a little curve right here on top of the eye and also over here on this side. Now let's draw the body. We can start right here and we're going to draw a letter U that comes around and back up on the right side. All right, now let's draw the wings that it doesn't use. <laughs> We're going to start here, and we're going to come down, and then we're going to curve into the body. And we can do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw that same curve coming out, and then into the body. Oh, I love your little wings. Okay, now let's draw a little curve right here in the armpits. <laughs> Now let's draw the legs. I'm going to draw a smaller U-shape right here and also matching on the other side. And then we can also draw the little toes. I'm going to draw one in the middle. So we'll draw a curve coming out and then we're going to curve back in for those little pointy toe. And then let's draw another one that's a little smaller next to it and on the other side too. Then let's repeat those same shapes on the right side. We'll draw the middle one that's kind of a little longer, and then two smaller ones on each side. Now because these aren't up in the tree, they're down on the ground, let's draw blades of grass, really tall blades of grass. I'm going to draw a big blade of grass that comes out from the shoulder, and we can come back in. Let's add a bunch more of those. So I'm going to add Another one that's maybe right next to it that's shorter. And then this can come down and then touch the toes. And we can draw another one maybe coming out to the side here. And it's okay if you change your drawing. You don't have to add the same amount of grass or you could even add different types of plants. So this part maybe we'll fast forward, but we're going to add more grass around our kakapo.
Taryn, we did it. We finished drying our Kakapo. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. I still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. drawing and coloring our kakapos. I love saying that word. I really hope that that's how you say it. <laughs> I really like how they look all colored in. Yeah, me too. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. I even added a little dirt on the bottom with some rocks, but you could leave that off or you could change it. Add even more grass and maybe even more birds in the background. It could be a whole family of them. I also added eyelashes to mine to make it look cute. It looks super cute. <laughs> We used our biannual markers to color with. If you have the same set, we use G503. That's the light green we used for the body and the top of the head. And then a light yellow, which is actually also kind of a yellow green. And that number is G902. The dark green we use for the grass is... G025. Yeah, and the gray we use for the beak and the feet is CG03. We hope you had fun drawing a Kakapo. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different and they both turned out awesome. That's because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Yes, remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.